Hey, what's up, folks? Random Jay here. Going for a boat ride. We're at uh, beautiful Lake Garcia this morning. If you have a smaller boat, you might have some of these issues, especially like if you have smaller horsepower engines, like maybe maybe a 25 horsepower engine, a 15 horsepower engine, and you might really need to take a lot of time to climb that boat at full power to get it up on plane, if you can at all. Climbing, it goes down, that's called porpoising. It's a real common problem with smaller boats, and we want to help everybody there. I'm talking about Bennett Marine. The SLT-6 would come packaged like this. Every component you need is in this box, and it's actually gonna be a six by eight trim tab with a 60 pound spring that's gonna deflect constantly, allowing the water pressure to help the boat get on plane. Okay, so, so that's for what size boat and, and under? This is gonna be from boats up to 16 feet. Okay, now, now if you have a heavier or larger boat than that and you still want spring actuated trim tabs, do you also make somebody Absolutely. something? Absolutely. We actually have the SLT-10, which is on display here today. That is a 10 by 10 trim tab with a 90 pound spring. Okay, now you never have to drill all the way through the boat. You never have to run uh, switches at Correct. the helm. Correct. There's you no have controls have in these pumps. systems whatsoever. You're actually going to realize that there's only three screws in the upper hinge and four screws on the trim tab itself. No. In their local area or online. Hope you enjoy the views. Might do a little fishing. I brought some poles with me, but this is more or less. Uh, I gotta go on a trip, so I gotta run some fresh water through this thing. Um, so we're gonna. That's what we're gonna do. I don't have a trolling motor, so I can't really do what I want to do. Chatterbait here. Maybe I can just throw it around for a little bit. Comes a big airboat. I hope they see me.
I ran I just ran it with the trim tabs um, in the down position and the hydrofoil and really I think it's my max speed was 24.7 miles an hour but I really it feels like the motors bogging down but I managed to get right at 25 mile an hour but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the trim tabs I'm gonna put them back up and I'm gonna do another run and see how it performs then I'm wondering if I have way too much drag in the back with the hydrofoil and the trim tabs I do need a lot more weight I'm gonna have to put maybe a sandbag or, or a couple relocate batteries or, or maybe even the fuel tank up to the front um, or something a live well up there I don't know there's not enough weight in the front of the boat so it, when you when I get up on plane if I go up to a certain I can feel like the motor wants to go faster but what happens is it ends up just doing it don't have enough weight so it does the head bob <laughs> starts porpoising so I'm gonna put the trim tabs in the up position and we're gonna try it again all right uh, trim tabs are up starting a new session Enjoy the scenes. That's all I'm just doing there. Like it with the trim tabs down. Alright, up. by the way it's riding that it, it really does respond better with the trim tabs in the down position which makes them it makes them really essential 